Hello, my beautiful Pisces. My name is Jennifer from jenniferwalkerzen.com, here to bring you a weekly forecast for January 15th to the 21st. Guys, you can check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for more information. And of course, if you'd like a personal reading with me, you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. Please remember these are for singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages. So we're gonna do the day-to-day, -day, and then we're gonna do the overall, and then advice from the romance angels. So stick with me till the end. All right, let's jump right in. So let's go on my Pisces romantic love life for January 15th to the 21st. Let's go on my Pisces romantic love life for January 15th to the 21st. Let's go on my Pisces romantic love life for January 15th to the 21st. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. We're going to jump into your Oracle now. And by the way, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram or Facebook, I've been adding more uh, readings up there and I will be adding a lot more coming into the future. So... Um, you can check me out and um, all of my links are in the description box below okay so what is going on my pisces romantic love life for january 15th to the 21st what's going on my pisces romantic love life for january 15th to the 21st let's go on my pisces romantic love life for january 15th to the 21st all right now this is going to be i know this is for singles couples or anyone in between or anyone in love, love messages this is going to be your love interest the one you're thinking about the one you want to know about okay so the one you turned this video on for. What is going on with my Pisces love interest romantic love life for January 15th to the 21st? What's going on with my Pisces love interest romantic love life for January 15th to the 21st? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so let's throw these cards down and let's jump right in. Okay, let's see, how many major arcanas this week? Everything seems to be under your control this week for the most part, yeah, yeah. Okay, so on the 15th, Spirit is saying that you have hope. So, so keep hope and faith that things are gonna be okay, all right, on the 15th, because it does look like you have the Five of Pentacles energy. You're feeling like, you know, you're being left out in the cold or you're leaving someone out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles energy. Remember, fives are about challenges, they're about changes. Okay, they're about freedom here. Your love interest of the person that you're dealing with has the Page of Wands energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Okay, so this represents a message of passion or new path in passion. It's also known as the exploratory card. So it's like someone, they're, they're going out there and they're seeing what's out there passionately. Okay, so on the 7th, oh, excuse me, on the 16th, you're gonna be going through some type of transformation, some kind of change here, like a butterfly. You're gonna move into a butterfly. Things are gonna to, to change for you with a transformation card. Um, it does look like someone finds you very sexy and attractive with the Queen of Wands energy. Also, you could be dealing with an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, and you could be being patient when it comes to your passions on the 16th. Your love interest of the person that you're dealing with has the Knight of Swords energy, so there's like a very cutting energy or they want something cut out here with the Knight of Swords energy. It's also an argumentative kind of card there. On the uh, 17th, if you're not going out and having a good time, then Spirit is suggesting to go out and have a good time with the Good Times card because you are feeling like your hands are tied in your situation. Remember, this is only a mental card, but you feel like your back's against the wall and you're feeling like, my hands are tied in the situation. There's nothing I can do about it. You can do something about it. And um, this is also the eight card, which is putting work or effort into something. Mentally, right? Mentally. Your love interest of the person you're dealing with on this day is feeling like their wishes are being fulfilled with the Nine of Cups energy. On the 18th, it does look like you're going to be getting your wish here with this, with this wish card. And interesting enough, for my singles or my people that are dating or are wanting to move to another level or even my couples, there is a potential for some kind of a long-term commitment here, Ace of Pentacles energy. So watch out for that on the 18th, okay? And if you're in a coupled situation already, uh, it's, it's just being renewed here, okay? Your love interest of the person you're dealing with has the Ten of Cups energy. So this complete emotional happiness here. On the 19th, oh wow, you're gonna have abundance on this day. That's really good. A gift of abundance here is coming in for you. And it could be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. There's also an energy of, hmm, do I wanna get my cup of love? Do I not wanna get my cup of love? What do I wanna do here in this situation? Maybe I need to gain some kind of advice here. Okay, because remember the queens are about advice. They're about patient energy. 
your love interest, the person you're dealing with on the 19th, is feeling like, I'm not sure what option I want to go with here. There is a lot of options on this table here, but I don't know which one is going to be the best option for me. Seven of Cups energy. On the 20th. Okay, there's some of you going to be having some kind of reconciliation here mm -hmm. with the reconciliation card. So something to do with reunions that's going to affect your romantic love life. This is kind of leaving you in a state where you're feeling worried and anxious here with the Knight of Swords energy. You're almost feeling like I'm imprisoned in my thoughts and I just feel like I'm chained to the situation. There's a lot of sleep. Okay, so your love, which is the person you're dealing with, could be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. And they're a contemplation about, hmm, do I want to give my couple love? Do I not want to give my couple love? And on the 21st, don't worry, your guardian angels and ancestors are watching out for you with the heaven card. And it does look like you're going to have that aha moment. And you're going to be like, all right, I feel victorious. I feel like I got that mental clarity here with the ace of swords energy. And it does look like your love interest, the person you're dealing with, is dealing with the issue of something is coming to them really fast or they're getting some kind of messages coming in with that eight of wands energy. All right, so I'm gonna take a look here. So for you this week, it doesn't look like you have any major arcana cards. You do have a couple of uh, court cards, so some people can be involved with the situation, but for the most part, everything's under your control and you're dealing with the issue around challenges, around change, around freedom, about putting the worker effort into an opportunity that's coming up Nines are about wish, wish fulfillment, what fulfills your wishes pertaining to this opportunity. So definitely opportunity is coming up. I see that one card there. And you're going to have to figure out, do you want to put the work and effort into this? Okay. So now let's look at your overall here. Okay, so as you know, I use three different decks. I use my Lenormand slash tarot. I use the Lenormand and uh, the Right Away tarot. So I want to apologize when I get to the smaller decks. They, it's going to get a little bit louder for my earphone users. Okay, so what's going on my Pisces Romantic Love Life for January 15th to the 21st? What's going on my Pisces Romantic Love Life for January 15th to the 21st? What's going on my Pisces Romantic Love Life for January 15th to the 21st? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. And now the smaller deck. So I apologize for the sound. My Pisces Romantic Love Life for January 15th to the 21st. Pisces Romantic Love Life for January 15th to the 21st. January Pisces Romantic Love Life, January 15th to the 21st. Okay. Pisces Romantic Love Life, January 15th to the 21st. Pisces Romantic Love Life, January 15th to the 21st. Pisces Romantic Love Life, January 15th to the 21st. Okay. Current position. Hmm. So it looks like you're resting, you're thinking, or contemplating here with the Four of Swords energy. All right. Uh, the reason is, is because of the Fox card. The Fox can represent like um, maybe you feel like something is deceptive or sneaky in your situation or someone's being manipulative or because you're just trying to use your intelligence here with the Fox card energy. Because you, um, you see that there is some type of opportunity of true love or you want some type of opportunity of true love a new love with the Ace of Cups energy. Fours are about stability and stableness. One plus four is five, change, freedom. Uh, challenges around true love, opportunity of love. Okay, so what's the blockage here? Looks like you do have a lot of choices and options. Seven of Cups energy, you are the other person you're dealing with, which is causing something to feel like it's not quite right here with the Snake card energy around your wish and your hope here with the Star card energy. So in the foundation, the Wheel of Fortune and things are turning in your favor, okay, around loyalty with a dog card and friendliness. And there is a recognized victory here with the Six of Wands energy. So that's good. That's positive energy. Recovery, healing. Nines are about wish fulfillment. All right, what happened in the past? All right, so you may have been bored when it came to your romantic love life. There may have been more than one choice or option or things that you were being offered to you. You were like, eh, I don't know if I really want that. And the strength card here, because of the fact that you had strength or maybe you didn't want to, uh, you felt like you wanted to have more control over your situation around some kind of potential long-term commitment, Ace of Pentacles energy. What's going on at the head of the matter here? There's some kind of communication coming in, Eight of Wands energy, or it's something to do with someone who wants something to move fast, but it's like a crossroads energy. 
um, there is attraction here or you feel like there's something surprise about this whole situation and you're weighing your choices and your options about what to do or you want appreciation here or you want something to do with eights about putting work or effort into it nines about your wish fulfillment and making a choice so what is going to be the near future outcome here okay all right all right we have the hierophant card which is taurus energy um, it's about commitments it's about traditional values it's about long-term commitment marriage and communication here so i did say there was something to do with communication with that eight of wands energy so and there's three of swords now for some of you this is very heartbreaking around this communication because of something about traditional values marriage and long-term commitment or for some of you, the reason why that Three of Swords is energy is you're worried about your heart being broken. And for some of you, it could be more than one choice here with the Three of Swords energy. Pertaining to long-term commitment, marriage. Okay, so what's going on subconsciously? You just want to be wise when it comes to your choices, when it comes to long-term commitment with the King of Pentacles energy. And you're trying to gain strength and courage with the Strength card uh, pertaining to a person here. So what is the influence in the situation? The influence is five of cups. There's a lot of regrets. So for you or the other person, the influence around this is regret about the past. There's regret about the past. There's crying over spilled milk because there was some isolation and separation with the tower card energy. And there was a decision about this or there was a just truth about this situation, which is causing this regret. So the regret is the influence involved with your romantic love life. And the blockage seems to be there's a lot of choices and options that maybe one of them or two of them you feel is maybe something's not right about it. Okay, so what's the hopes and fears here? You're hoping for happiness, right? And luck and romance here with the moon card energy. Um, and some kind of change or transformation here with the death card energy. So let's see what the outcome is going to be. Hmm. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Making a wise choice when it comes to passion. And I like the fact that it's a king. I like kings and queens. Okay, good. And uh, it does look like there's a message of passion coming in. That's a lot of passion going on. Because of a decision. Wow, that's also the influence. A just truth or just decision. So... There is a message of passion coming in for you guys because of the fact that someone decided to make some kind of decision here. They made a just truth truth or just decision. And this looks like it could be for some of you around an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. And if it's not, it's just somebody who's coming out very passionately here. Okay, so let's find out about that King of Wands energy. Six of Pentacles is there. Someone wants an equal give and take. Why? because they had a blockage and a challenge here or they felt like there was some delays here with that mountain card. Why is that uh, page of wands there? Now this could be spiritual or because of some kind of burdens and challenges because someone's been doing some thinking and contemplating. Okay, so someone sent a message of passion because of the fact where they wanted to, to explore the situation with you because they were like, all right, I feel like it's taking too long. Uh, there's too much thinking, contemplating going on. I feel like there's too many delays here. I want an equal give and take. I decided to make this decision. Okay, so why is the justice card there? They gained mental clarity because they wanted to be victorious. So that it was around the fact that they wanted to gain that mental clarity. They wanted to be victorious and they wanted to have a fresh start and a new opportunity with the child card energy. Pretty straightforward. Okay, so let me get some advice for you guys. Can I get some advice for my Pisces Romantic Love Life for January 15th to the 21st? Can I have some advice for my Pisces Romantic Love Life for January 15th to the 21st? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, you don't have to take this advice. I know I say this a lot, but I do want you to remember you have free will. Okay, interesting. Very similar to the advice, uh, I think it was Taurus or Gemini. They want you to not feel like you're you're going around this hamster wheel. Just get off of it and, you know, free yourself from the situation. Take control of the situation. Take back control. It's time to take take back control of your life, okay? So where is the other card they have? You can allow things to unfold naturally. This one, they want you to take control of things. Because there are those romantic feelings here. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And... Uh, there needs to be some heart-to-heart -heart conversations about this. You need to honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So in your situation, Pisces, they want you to take control of things. 
okay? Because there is romantic feelings here between you and this person. And for the people that resonates with, have heart to heart conversations about this and honestly discuss your feelings with this person, okay? All right, my Pisces, I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you'd like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com or check out the description box below. I love you guys so much and have a great week.